Mr. Speaker, while I rise once again to speak on the speech uh, by the President of the Republic of Kenya, while doing the same as actually fulfilling what the Constitution requires of him under Article 132.1c, uh, the President, while addressing the nation, he chose to speak from his heart. He actually spoke about the issues touching on common Mwanainji. This is a president who knows what the Kenyan wants out of him. The president deliberately chose not to continue with the culture of borrowing. The president talked about the subsidy and he deliberately chose to go to the way of doing subsidy in production. Uh, while doing the same, we as a country have realized that the fertilizer prices have now come down by a margin of 4,000 in a record one year. In so doing, the production of maize has increased by almost 80%. This is in line with bringing the level of anger that our people have been facing for so long. Mr. President, as well, talked about what he is doing and what the government, not his government, but our government is doing to increase the cost of milk. And particularly, this is so dear to my constituency that solely depends on milk production as a way of living. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as I speak today, uh, my constituents are depending on milk with the cost of 31 shilling a liter. With the intervention, deliberate intervention that the president wants to bring, uh, that is in terms of installation and doing surveys on where to install milk coolers. And actually, uh, the prices now for milk is going to depend on the quality of milk that you produce. This is in line uh, with the government agenda of increasing the prices for milk and it will go in and in improving the economy of our country. Uh, our president talked about the agenda uh, that is, was, that was our uh, campaign uh, manifesto, that is universal health care. He has deliberately, and we have deliberately, chosen to do digitization, which is going to have each and every one of Kenyan accessing universal health care. Our president, in this case, has talked about so many things, and among them, he has deliberately refused to even borrow on recurrent expenditure. Previous governments have been known to be borrowing for, uh, for recurrent expenditure. The president has said that, as a country, we are going to live not beyond our means, but we are going to live within our means, which is going to improve greatly on our economy as a country. Mr. Speaker, with a few remarks, I want to support the motion and to echo our president for knowingly knowing what the Kenyan wants, what the common Mwanaiji wants. This uh, is in line with the talk. There is a pastor in Mombasa who said there is a period between giving a promise and a period in which you deliver the promise. Uh, the period uh, in between delivering a promise and giving a promise is called wait. Uh, the president has told us that our government, within the shortest time possible, is going to work on the manifesto, and uh, upon recovery of our economy, our roads are going to be constructed. We are going to get better electricity accessibility. We are going to get better accessibility to water, to clean water. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I support the motion. Thank you, Victor. Shaquille Shabir. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, I would like to comment on the speech of His Excellency the President. Mr. Speaker, His Excellency.